In this video, we're going to talk about the exciting topic of ERP requirements gathering process, show you some of the best practices for building your ERP requirements, documents, and share some free templates to speed up the task. This video is brought to you by ERPresearch.com, where you can find and compare ERP softwares and consultancies that meet your ERP project needs, plus find loads of useful ERP project templates and tools. Visit ERPresearch.com to accelerate your ERP project today. If you are building your ERP requirements document, then make sure you download our free pre-built template to speed up the process. Our ERP requirements gathering template can save you weeks of time and help you to build a top-class ERP requirements document in days. What is an ERP requirements gathering document? An ERP requirements document is a document which catalogues the requirements for an ERP system or project. The ERP template is used during the request for information or request for a proposal, or FP, processes between your organization and the ERP suppliers. The ERP requirements gathering document outlines the features and functions that a company needs in its ERP solution. It also includes information on other topics that are important for an ERP evaluation, including data security, integration, and user experience. The ERP requirement specification document should also provide an area for potential solution providers to give feedback on their benefits. Their solution provides including functionality, implementation, license, and service costs. A good ERP requirements document will also aim to prioritize, score, and weight ERP supplier responses easily. For example, some requirements may have greater business value to you, whereas others might not. It's therefore important that your ERP requirements document allows you to score suppliers' responses objectively. How to build an ERP requirements list? The first step in the process is to build a document that will house your requirements. Typically this is done on an Excel and different sheets are used for each element of the supplier's response. We would suggest creating a sheet for your supplier responses covering at the minimum 1. Company information 2. Functional requirements 3. Technical requirements and 4. Commercials But you may wish to add additional sections to cover topics such as customer references, product roadmap, implementation rollout plan, and more depending on your company and project needs. Speak to your business users. Once you have an ERP requirements document, you should start to interview the users and stakeholders of your new ERP system. Assuming you've already decided on your ERP project scope, i.e. the modules and capabilities you're looking to implement, if you're starting a manufacturing business, then you'll probably want to speak to your finance, purchasing, supply chain and shop floor teams to understand the capabilities they need from your new system. These requirements should be then fed into your ERP requirements document. Sign off. Throughout your ERP project, it's key that your team, stakeholders and business users stay in sync. So once you've interviewed them and built your ERP requirements document accordingly, you'll need to secure an agreement that the document represents your business needs and that everyone that's involved agrees. Send ERP vendors and partners. Once your ERP requirements document is built, it can now be sent to potential ERP vendors, consultancies, or implementation partners to receive responses as part of an RFI or RFP. If you're not sure which ERP vendors or consultants can meet your requirements, then head over to erpresearch.com or check some of the links in the description to find ERP providers that can meet your business needs. Thanks for watching and good luck building your ERP requirements document, and don't forget to like and subscribe.